First up here at 10, almost two years ago, the burned body of this 31-year-old woman was found in an alley in St. Pete. Three people were arrested for burning Heather Olmstead's body, but her mother says she still needs more justice. Let's go to Fox 13's Jordan Bowen, live outside St. Pete PD headquarters in downtown St. Pete. Hi there, Jordan. I know this has been a long two years for her family. Yeah, that's right, Mark. Lynette Olmstead says it has been hard enough losing her daughter, but to know that people went to such great lengths to burn her daughter's body after she died, she says that has made the grieving process much more difficult. She's very friendly, very outgoing, very, very, always a smile. 31-year-old Heather Olmstead had just celebrated one year of sobriety and had a whole new outlook on life. Her mom, Lynette Olmstead, says she was happy and excited for the future when she last spoke to her. Our conversation got cut short because, you know, it was hot out like it is today and she said, I really need to go get something cold to drink. And, and I was expecting to hear back from her and I didn't. That was the last I heard from her. That was back in August 2022. A day after their conversation, Olmstead's body was found badly burned in a dumpster in an alley behind the 2900 block of Emerson Avenue South in St. Pete. Autopsy results later showed she overdosed on a combination of drugs and died before her body was burned. They used an accelerant to just basically eliminate her. To me, that's really, really evil. 32-year-old Cree Worley pleaded guilty to one count of abuse of a dead body and was sentenced to one year in jail and has since been released. Police tracked down Worley after finding security footage of a truck driving away from the burning trash container. They later traced the vehicle's license plate to a white Ford pickup registered in Worley's mom's name. 42-year-old Jira Stevens is also facing one count of abuse of a dead body, but his case is still moving through the courts. I have no idea how she encountered them or how she knew them. If she knew them, before what happened. Olmstead feels like so far the punishment hasn't been enough. Somewhere along the line she went from alive to dead and these people were clearly involved in it because if they weren't they wouldn't have done what they did to her. Um, and I and I and I don't it makes me sick to my stomach. Olmstead says she hopes whoever sold her daughter or gave her daughter the deadly combination of drugs that killed her is also held accountable. I hope to see an honest level of justice. You know um for her sake. And Olmstead says she has been in close contact with the state attorney's office for updates, but because the case is still pending, many of her questions about her daughter's final moments and exactly what happened to her are still waiting to be answered. As for next steps, we know Jira Stevens is expected back in court next Tuesday for a pretrial hearing. For now, live in St. Pete, Jordan Bowen, Fox 13 News.